Sixth grade, unit two, lesson one. Introducing ratios and ratio language. Number one. In a fruit basket, there are nine bananas, four apples, and three plums. A. The ratio of bananas to apples is nine to four, or nine bananas to four apples. B. The ratio of plums to apples is 3 to 4, or 3 plums to 4 apples. C. For every blank apples, there are blank plums. For every 4 apples, there are 3 plums. D. For every 3 bananas, there is 1 9 bananas divided by 3 equals 3 bananas, and 3 plums divided by 3 equals 1 plum. So for every 3 bananas, there is 1 plum. Number 2. Complete the sentence to describe this picture. A. The ratio of dogs to cats is 3 to 4. For every 3 dogs, there's 4 cats. B. For every blank dogs, there are blank cats. For every three dogs, there are four cats. Number three. Write two different sentences that use ratios to describe the number of eyes and legs in this picture. I almost missed it but you can barely see the second eye on the turtle. So there's two eyes on the turtle and two eyes on the hippo. So I can see a total of four eyes altogether and a total of eight legs altogether. The ratio is four eyes to eight legs. Another sentence that uses ratios to describe the number of eyes and legs in the picture is, the ratio is eight legs to four eyes. Number four. Choose an appropriate unit of measurement for each quantity. A. Area of a rectangle. Well, we know area is base times height, and that's two dimensions. So we're going to look for centimeters to the second power, since the second power stands for two-dimensional, base times height. B. Volume of a prism. Volume is three-dimensional, width times length times height. So we're going to look for centimeters to the third power, or centimeters cubed. C. Side of a square. So they're talking about the side length of a square. So we're just going to look for one length of measurement, or one dimension. And that would be centimeters. D. Area of a square. Again, just like A, to find the area, you need to multiply base times height, and that's two-dimensional. So we're going to look for centimeters to the second power, since second power stands for two-dimensional, base times height. E, volume of a cube. Again, volume is three-dimensional, width times length times height. So we're going to look for centimeters to the third power, or centimeters cubed. Number five, find the volume and surface area of each prism. A, prism A is three centimeters by three centimeters by three centimeters. Volume equals width times length times height, and surface area for a cube would be six times the base times the height, since there's six sides to a cube. So to find the volume of this cube, I'm going to multiply 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27 cubic centimeters or 27 centimeters cubed, which is the same as 27 centimeters to the third power. To find the surface area, I'm going to multiply 6 times 3 times 3, since there's 6 sides and the area of each side is 3 times 3. So 6 times 3 times 3 is 54. So the surface area is 54 square centimeters or 54 centimeters squared, which is the same as 54 centimeters to the second power.
B. Prism B is 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters by just 1 centimeter. So to find the volume, I'm going to multiply 5 times 5 times 1. And 5 times 5 times 1 is 25. So the volume of prism B is 25 cubic centimeters or 25 centimeters to the third power. To find the surface area, I'm going to multiply 4 times 5 times 1, since there's 4 sides that have an area of 5 times 1, plus 2 times 5 times 5, since there's 2 sides that have an area of 5 times 5. 4 times 5 times 1 is 20, and 2 times 5 times 5 is 50. 20 plus 50 is 70. The surface area of prism B is 70 centimeters squared. C. Compare the volumes of the prisms and their surface areas. Does the prism with the greatest volume also have the greatest surface area? Prism A has the greater volume, but prism B has the greater surface area. Number 6. Which figure is a triangular prism? Select all that apply. Figures A, C, and D are all triangular prisms. 